first off, just want to thank the fans for coming out. It's always great when you, you get to come home. Um, you know, scheduling's been hard for us to get home games, a lot of them. And I thought this year was the year that we got a lot of home games. And then now we've been on the road this long. But we needed our home crowd today. Um, these guys, Walker and, and George, really pulled us together. Walker got off to a hot start. And then George really got going. And, you know, if our defense does what it did later in the game, you know, maybe we could have got away from those guys a little earlier. But you got to give Colgate credit. They're down their main all-league guy, maybe two of them. And they came out and did a good job and, and fought. And, you know, they've, they've been down for, for a little while. So I think when that team's at 100%, they'll, they'll be a tough out in the Patriot League. It doesn't seem to matter at this point, home away. Well, that's that's a credit to the kids. They're, and they're not kids. I always call them kids. And these guys would be in the pros somewhere. They would be playing or they'd be working in the real world. So, you know, it's a credit to them. It's a credit to them. It's a credit to my staff to, to keep working with me so I could be a better coach to help them. And I think what we're trying is just working for us this year. They're ballers. I'm trying to help them in small spots when I can. But the main thing is these guys will guard you. And they'll get after you because we believe if we get after you the way we can, you're not going to play like yourself. And in the first half, we did not do that, and they played like themselves, meaning Colgate shooting the ball great and running their stuff. Second half, right from the beginning, you could hear George out on the court yelling, this isn't working, that's not working, he doesn't want this. He's getting hands on the ball. Walker got a couple tips. We get a couple easy ones, and then I think we got into the legs. Talk about that mindset coming out in the second half, and, and it seemed like the intensity was historically short. Yeah, well, we got uh, we got lit up a little bit in the locker room, but because of, <laughs> just because, a little because of our maturity, we were able to handle it. And uh, on a personal note, you know, people people look at me the past four four years playing, and they try to go at me. They think I can't defend. So this year, that's been. That's been uh, something on my mind. Showed them you could defend. So uh, in my matchup, I think had 11 in the first half, and then we didn't score in the second half. So, uh, but that was it. Just starting off the second half, showing them uh, we could guard. Your stuff's not going to work against us, especially at home, and that's what we did. Walker, you, you seem to come out, uh, you know, very aggressive. <coughs> so I talked about that and, and getting the team off to a good start. And so. uh, you know, I, I made the first one. Um, you know, I kind of pivoted around and threw in that right jump hook, so I felt I was mo I was rolling after that. So I just wanted to be aggressive from, from there, getting to the moves I like to get to. Coach Rice has been telling me a lot recently, just try to get to my jump hook, try to get to the, the places where I like to be on the court. And that's what I tried to do early. And then as the game went on, they doubled me a little bit and all that, just try to keep getting other people involved and, you know, even be a decoy at times where, you know, if they're going to not guard me with, or if they're not going to guard Nikkei or Boog or me, how they did me even, um, then try to just, you know, draw two guys and, you know, find a play from there. You gave the young guys some good runs in, in both hands, uh, including a long time in the end game. Talk about that in the kind of the process of getting them, you know, more ingratiated into rotation. And you know, Steve, I, I have to do a better job of getting them game minutes. Um, but when I'm, when I'm sitting there and I'm looking out on the floor and none of these guys look tired to me, it's hard to take them out right now, you know. And I, I know it's a long season, but these guys work for this moment. And, you know, I'm just erring on the side of staying with the older guys. The younger kids have done a tremendous job in practice. That's why I trust them more now. Um, but you have to put them in just so they, they don't look how we looked a little bit at the end because then they're just not sure. And so I got I to gotta do a better job of getting them in at, at short for short stints. Um, but it, it seems like if Walker gets tired and I take him out, and then all of a sudden I take George out, well, now I got some really, really young guys in there at the same time. And that, that might not be fair to them because 
you know, playing with the older guys could help them. But we're going to figure it out because I got to get them in the game for their mental health and for these guys' physical health. And the full court pressure at the start of the second half. Talk about that. I mean, that seems to really get them out of their, out of their comfort. Zone. Well, Steve, you, you've watched pretty closely this year, and we're supposed to pick people up and get after them. Um, that's telling me that, that I'm playing these guys too much because we just, we just didn't look like that. Um, we just didn't look like that. And that could be a lot of different things. Um, I think the guys, you know, we're coming off of finals, guys are finishing finals. I think that plays a thing. I think not being at home for a long time, now you're at home and you want it so badly for your home fans. But we just didn't look like ourselves at the beginning. And today it took us a little while. Now our offense was, was there today. So we, we can get to to 38, 36, and, and not be good on defense, um, I, I like our chances in those games. Because the thing I've come to believe is our defense is going to carry us. And, then I, and I'm telling you, I, I got on them probably. I haven't done it like that this season. And, and they knew I was frustrated with it. And I don't have a big enough vocabulary not to use the words I used. But they got my point, and then they came out and – now I get to be happy for a couple of years. When they get ready for Hofstra, a team you guys you know, struggled with them this year, coming off of the season. Uh, talk about that challenge. Well, I think, I think Hofstra, that's, that's been a great series for us all the way back to when Justin and Josh got 17 on them in their first game. We're a switch. We had them whooped here, and then the fourth couple overtime game, and they get to tip out perfectly after we missed about nine free throws. Um, over there the last two times, they were just better than us. You know, they had better squad. The makeup of our team wasn't like it is now, you know, but each year is different. They're supposed to beat us. That's what our fans, the CAA is here, the MAC is here. Okay, so a team beating you three or four times, you know, credit to them. First year, we should have beat them. You know, that, that Dion missed a whole bunch of free throws down the stretch, then they miss one, make one, tip it out perfectly, catch it and hit the three. So it's been a great thing for us. Um, Coach Mihalik was a great friend of ours. Got to see him up at Niagara. Um, Young Fairley did a good job last year. But now Speed, and he deserves to be the coach there. Um, we know those kids. We, we played against them. Um, we recruited some of them. So it's, it's always a fun game. And I've, I'm just so happy for Speedy. You know, I'm friends with all those guys over there. I'm friends with Rick Cole, who's the AD that used to be at Iona. That's my man. So it's it's almost like a family game. Um, I always get excited when, when there's an opportunity for two black head coaches uh, to get out there and, and have their teams play against each other. I think that's really cool that they hired Speedy when, when this time it came open you know, because what he did there as a player. So it, it's going to be a cool day. I know for me and Speedy, at least, just that we get to walk out there and shake hands, and both of our teams are pretty doggone good. Yep, thank you. I see you uh...
Monmouth 10 and 2 for the first time in their Division I history. 77 66 winners here at home uh, in a tough game with Colgate. George Pappas, when you play well, you have to hang around. So I would make sure he has plenty of power rate up here to get him through the interview. George, fourth time in your career, you go for 30. We just talked to you on ESPN. And what we're so curious about, your scoring bunches seem to, you know, especially here at home, but tonight, it wasn't, you know, 12 in a row. It was consistent. It was a couple threes, then great defense, then a steal and a dunk, then great defense, then dunks. And it's just, and then more threes. And as this team starts to evolve, as your game starts to evolve, just how dangerous can this group of Hawks be with you and your teammates at the helm? Well, first off, I had no clue 10 and 2 is the best uh, in history. That's uh, that's pretty cool. And that just shows how uh, how good this team can actually be. You know, we had a, we had a little players meeting after Yale. And uh, I think that helped a lot. And I want to credit Shavar, nine assists. I think that's the highest, maybe his career high, highest I've ever seen since Austin Tillman. So credit to Shavar. He didn't have his best shooting night, but he really kept us in the game with that. Walker played great. Marcus and Nike solid, really, really solid minutes. But, um, you know, I just love playing at home. I think everybody in the country knows that by now. Uh, you know, it's just something about this place. Um, it's why I came back, and you know, uh, credit to my teammates for finding me when I was open. Five for nine from three in the second half as a team, and the bigger numbers are what this team does defensively to the opposition in the second half. You go into halftime thirty-six all, and, and Coach Rice here in the interview went on ESPN just kind of told us, you know, that halftime locker room was a, a a serious conversation, but then. What's the intensity, what's the mindset there in that second set of 20 minutes among you and your teammates that allows you guys to just lock down these really good offensive teams? Yeah, well, the we knew Colgate lived, lives and dies by the three, so they came in, started eight for 12 uh, from three, and that was, we weren't following the game plan, and Coach Rice just told us how, how it was. You know, the seniors that he depends on, we weren't doing the job, so he lit us up in the locker room, and we were mature enough to accept the message and take care of business in the second half, and that's exactly what we did. This group has you know, won the high scoring game, win the grind it out game, come here at home, build a lead, and take care of business. It's hard to identify one like personality for this team, except they just win, and they just seem to play well together. Uh, to the, all the fans that follow this team, what is, in your opinion, the best personality trait for this Mama team? Well, if I the only personality trait you could say is that we're winners, then that's great to me. But uh, it, it's honestly just our common goal. We all have the same common goal. Everyone has their personal goals. Everybody wants to achieve what they could achieve personally, but that comes second. Everybody knows what's what's first, and that's getting get night in and night out, getting this win, and then those three games back to back to back in March. That's what it's all about. George, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you. We'll let George step out, go join his teammates now, please. You earned it. You'll Thank go. You. I'll wrap things up. 30 points walking out of the shot right now, and another tremendous performance by George. 10 of 14 from the floor, 6 of 9 from 3, and some performances worth noting that he mentioned. Shavar Reynolds, 9 points, 9 assists for Reynolds against just 2 turnovers. That's really good. Walker Miller, 15 points, 8 rebounds. Another 7 rebounds for Nikkei Ruddy. Mammoth locks Colgate down defensively. They're the top scoring team in the Patriot League in the second half. Mammoth limits the Raiders to just 36% shooting. 77-66 winners here at home. They're 10-2 and for the first time as a Division I school. Back at it on Wednesday against a really good Hofstra team. That's at 7 o'clock here in the Ocean First Bank Center. Appreciate you not only coming to the game, watching on ESPN, watching our post-game coverage here. Mammoth 11-point winners here on Sunday against Colgate.